What's going on, everybody? It is Jay Wilson, and it is a new day and a new time, and we're going to have some fun. It's not going to be as long as they normally will be, but I wanted just to get into the zone, have some fun, enjoy some really, really cool information because a lot of folks ask all the time. But give a shout out to my boy Rex. Look at this. Baby Yoda whiskey. <laughs> but this is not whiskey. This is an Arnold Palmer. But do me a favor. Check us out on Instagram. Become part of the following of Instagram and all that happy love stuff. So if you saw the the title of the video, it is what it's going to be. And it is five things, chemicals that I use right now that honestly make everything that much better. And when I say they make everything that much better, I truly mean that. Now I've flipped between some of these chemicals and I will talk about that. But remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. But the first product is a dechlorinator. And the dechlorinator in itself, this bad boy, is safe from Seachem. Now, I've used quite a few products in the past. I've used Fritz Complete. I've used Fritz ACCR. I've used Seachem Prime. And I ran out of ACCR just recently. I had Prime just before that. And now I'm back to safe. So that's why I'm showing you this. But I am I'm talking about safe for a specific reason. And I would love to actually know from you folks what you're using. But you need a high quality dechlorinator. One, where if you live in an area like I do, things can change on a dime, weather changes on a dime. And ultimately, you want to make sure that you have something that could help detoxify and potentially remove all of the nasties. Ammonia, chlorine, chloramine, nitrite, the nitrate deal. And that's what SAFE does. SAFE even tells you it removes chlorine, chloramine, and ammonia, right? Removes it. And then detoxifies nitrite and nitrate. So while it doesn't remove the nitrite and nitrate, it does detoxify it, giving yourself, your media, and whatever else you're doing the opportunity to take care of business. So that is number one in terms of a product that I'm using. But again, I would like to thank everybody for for showing up on Monday. Again, different time. It is going to stay this way. I'm trying to find my groove back and I'm, I don't know, I'm very excited. But I've got some really cool news to share with you before I get to the next product. And that is, if you are becoming a member, if you want to, I'm gonna be traveling soon again. And you folks that are members are going to get the behind the scenes travel vlogs. That is anything that I'm doing on my trip, you're going to see whether raw in the moment, live, or you'll get an edited complete travel vlog of what I've been doing. So look forward to that. That's going to be really, really fun. So the second product that I use that I would love to know if you folks use something like this because some people will use it and some people won't. And I don't know. I had to go back to it for a specific reason. And if you've been watching, you'll know that reason, but I'm back on the Malawi Victoria buffer, no salt, but the buffer specifically for these bad boys. And the reason why is I need to get it up above eight and I'm struggling and any buffer will do any DIY way will do. I know everybody's got their special way of doing things and do you, right? But I'm using this. I matter of fact, I just got this yesterday or the day before. So I'll be adding it back to my regimen. I had, I had run out of the last one that I was using, which was Fritz's, but I don't believe you can get it. Um, they were working through some stuff with it, but I went back to the tried and true method of Malawi, which could be foreshadowing of something, but I need to get it above, above eight. I really do. And I think the Felix, which I don't, I don't want to say that the Felix is 100% right because it's probably not 100% right, but I'm getting 7.86 and I just needed to stay above eight. It'll dip and dive and do all that stuff, but really we need to stay above eight. 
So Jay Wilson, did you get your acrylic lid figured out? No, I have not. Um, I've gotten more. <laughs> I've got more important fish to fry right now in terms of finding out if our landlord's going to allow us to stay uh, in this place. So yeah, it would be nice at some point to get that figured out, but as of right now, no. I can I could design it and we can put it together with glue and sit it over like a canopy, I don't know. What can we do or what can we expect from Florida? Well, there's some big shows coming in Florida. You've got Reef of Palooza, which should have a couple of freshwater things. And then there's an Aquashella. And that's going to be um, hopefully a, a big show. And what does somebody said? Talk about Monster 360. He better. <laughs> Shh. It'll be okay. So the first two products, if you're just tuning in, are these bad boys. I've been using Safe. Actually, I was using Prime, ACCR, flipping back and forth. I was using complete for a while. It's just whatever is accessible. If you trust the product, know that if you are going to be using a product like this, what I mean by safe, complete, prime, it does, listen, listen, listen. It can remove, who this stinks when you squeeze it. <laughs> it will remove dissolved oxygen levels. And it will tell you even on the back now, which I don't remember it doing this, but it says you can overdose up to four times. But if the temperature is 86 degrees Fahrenheit and chlorine or ammonia levels are low, use half the dose. And the reason being is because it does remove oxygen from the aquarium. So just be aware if you are overdosing safe or prime or complete to be very careful in low oxygen environments. So low oxygen environments could mean you're running just a singular sponge filter on a large system and it's, it's the last tank on this massive air pump you've got going on over there. You might want to slow it down just a smidge when you're adding prime complete anything that smells like rotten eggs. <laughs> So let's see, I have a 10 gallon with a very slow leak, advice on finding the source. Uh, if it's a slow leak and there's trim on the bottom, chances are it's probably either pooling and coming out of that trim, or it could be the trim up top and there's a small leak and it's dripping down uh, out the sides. But I mean, to find it, if it is a slow leak and it legitimately is a leak, you're gonna wanna find that sooner than later because there's a risk that it could just bust out. I don't want to scare you, but th there is that risk, right? There's, there's always that inherent risk. What's a good product to get rid of black algae? Well, what type of algae? Is it black hair algae? Um, the, the number one thing about algae, I think we forget, and this is kind of off topic, but I can kind of get to it. Actually, let's just do it. Oh, wrong one. Coming in hot. Now this Look at all these lights. This is my ish right here. Monster 360. And uh, we could talk so much about Monster 360. This is just a massive gallon jug. This is heterotrophic bacteria. And this is a chemical, but it's not a chemical. It's an all natural product that you want in your fish room for a few reasons. And one of them is to get, yes, to get with What's a good product to get rid of black algae? So you want to find your source, right? What is your source that is causing the algae to flourish? Well, could be light, could be high nutrients. Warmth also happens. But what can we do to negate it? Well, a lot of people say, you know, turn off your light, turn down your light. Maybe your temperature's too high. Uh, maybe you're feeding too much and there's a lot of excess nutrients for that algae to grow. So you have to find it and I don't recommend jumping into a million things at once and ultimately hurting your aquarium. The idea would be maybe start dosing with something like this. Heterotrophs love nitrate. They love to consume it. They love to help to keep the cycle going. Matter of fact, most quick start products that are shelf stable that you find in your big box retailer or they're shipped are going to have a heterotrophic uh, species attached to it in that in that jug. Uh, they will, I don't think it smells as bad. 
It does. It smells like it smells not good. <laughs> but the idea for this is it's going to help keep your aquarium cleaner, longer, and it does that by building that bacteria colony and supplementing it and allowing these savages to go to work to keep your nitrate levels at bay to absorb and eat a lot of that extra nutrients that you may have laying around so something to keep in mind but that's monster 360 so you know we've got quite a few products we've already talked about i'm going to write them here so we've got Seachem safe bang we've got monster 360 bang and then we have I mean, you can really use anything, but it is a buffer. And the reason why I believe you need a buffer is most of us are going to have some problems with, I don't know, pH fluctuating depending on our water source. Now you can negate all of these things by having an RO system in place. But if you have hundreds and hundreds of gallons of water, sometimes it's not cost effective to have an RO water producing uh, an RO, uh, RODI system just doing that whole deal all the time. It could get very costly, but it might be something to look into if you're spending a lot of money on your buffers, on your safe, because then you would, you would know exactly what is happening. You're starting from scratch, you're adding, you're remineralizing, and then boom, you know exactly what is going into your aquarium. So here's a good question. It says, is it okay to add prime or safe to a tank when you have fry in breeder boxes. Well, yeah, I mean, as long as you have good oxygen flow, even through those breeder boxes, there should be no problem. But my question is, why are you adding it? If those breeder boxes are sitting pretty high, you're not really doing a water change. So what's the point of adding that? That's what I'm curious about. Um, if, if you're that, um, you know, if you're that, what's the word to use, worried, maybe you should be moving the fry to um, a smaller tank, right? We say we don't have space, but chances are you have space underneath another aquarium uh, that you could put a five gallon or a 10 gallon, run a sponge filter, and those fry will grow, and then whatever you're gonna do with them. Like that that should be the plan that we're, we're doing. Um, so Sean Hale from Fritz is in the house. Thanks, Sean, for coming by. Um, another question that was just asked is, how long do bottled bacteria survive once the bottle is open? Unopened, anaerobic, opened, now aerobic. So I'm going to put that question up because James Green, that's a great question. Something like Monster 360 is, is stable for a very, very long time. Matter of fact, you probably get it in powder form as well. And that powder form is good forever, right? So I don't even think it says best used by March 23rd, 2022. Um, this is opened. It's, you know, I'm, I'm storing it just like I store anything else underneath my, my aquariums, but this is going to remain good to go for a very, very long time. Matter of fact, probably longer than 2022 uh, because they really don't need anything, right? They, they don't need anything specific and they just hang out, ready to do their job. And even if it was past that, you're utilizing this to supplement that heterotrophic bacteria uh, colony. And I mean, even if there is half the, the monster in itself, then it's okay. Now, a product like Fritzzyme 7, which is, guys, you're setting me up here. Gateway to the next product. Fritzyme 7. So I will talk about Fritzyme 7 and I will mention a product alongside of it, which is also called Turbo Start 700. Now, these are both from Fritz Aquatics. And I believe, you know, yes, I did work for Fritz Aquatics. But when I say this, I truly believe that the best bacteria is legitimately from Fritz. Fritz was the pioneer of it. Fritz started it. And Fritz has the highest concentrated cold, I'm talking auto start, like auto start bacteria. And that's the turbo start 700. It does have to remain refrigerated. It can't get above like, I think it's like 85 degrees sustained and you don't want to freeze it. 
Um, but when it comes in, this is what public aquariums, people go, no, you need the cycle for like four to six weeks. Okay. Do you think a public aquarium that's dumping a bunch of fish in there um, and they're trying to open and create awareness and, and get those tickets going, do you think they're waiting that long? No. Disney, no. Your, your major aquariums, absolutely not. They're jump-starting these aquariums and they can do it with this. Now you can do the same thing with Fritzheim 7 as you can Turbo Start 700, but the reason why I say you need this is because it's a little bit more stable. And what I mean by that is even if you open it, as long as it doesn't freeze or get extremely, extremely hot, this sucker, matter of fact, <clears throat> This is good for, I think, I want to say a year or two years from the date that it was bottled. You can open and close it, um, and it, it is very, very good. It does come in a bunch of different sizes, 16, 32, a gallon. Um, Monster 360 does the same thing. It comes in smaller sizes. I, I just happen to have these. And what I love about this is you do major water changes or you medicate or you're adding fish. Folks always ask, if I have my aquarium totally cycled, bruh, can I just go ahead and add 15 African cichlids like that? Well, yeah, you can, but chances are your bio load is just gonna go bruh. And what, what essentially will, will be a big issue is ammonia will spike because the bacteria that you've already started cannot catch up fast enough. And so depending on that pH level, yeah, science, you're gonna struggle. So adding Fridzyme 7 for right after medication so that you don't, you know, bottom out your, your cycle because that's constant. It's constantly cycling. And then adding fish, you're adding an abundance of fish, or maybe you're adding the holy grail fish. You should be adding that. Major water changes. These 50, 60, 70% water changes, good grief. We should be adding bacteria back. Not because, you know, you're, 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 just being cautious, but the risk of how much you're taking out and what you're doing, you know, cleaning. I know some of us are just willy nilly about all of the things we do in our aquariums. And so having Fridzyme 7 on hand is very, very beneficial. And stop using the word beneficial bacteria because really any bacteria that is beneficial is beneficial bacteria. But did you know there's unbeneficial bacteria roaming around your aquarium? So let's see. Yes, smaller bottles, we talked about it. Um, is Fritz Pond, Fritzheim 360 the same as Monster 360? If I recall, it is similar in, in terms of the same bacteria, but concentration levels are different. I always recommend, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. I prefer Monster because it's the highest concentration, right? When I look at it, bacteria will die off, water changes happen, bio load shifts with the amount of fish that are in or not in. So there's a lot of different things um, that can play a part. So I always go for the higher concentration levels. Jay or anyone else, I haven't seen Candy in live stream lately. Is she and the family okay? Yeah, she's absolutely fine. She she works for Aquarium Co-op and I don't believe he's going live today, but yes, she is good to go. She is well. I, matter of fact, I just talked to her to ask her, um, you know, I was concerned that I was going to step on a lot of other YouTubers by switching, but at the same time, I also have to look out for what's good for myself. So I'm like shooting the gap between two YouTubers um, on Mondays. Can you use salt and buffer on African cichlids? Absolutely. You can use, you know, any type of African cichlid salt. You can use any type of, of buffer as long as you are getting the desired results. When folks go, you know, I use this uh, DIY product. That's great. But what are they using it for and how much of it are they using? We're not asking these questions. We're just seeing it and jumping right into it. So we went over four products. Let's go over them one more time. You gotta have a quality dechlorinator. I don't care what it is. Right now, I'm using Seachem Safe. Like I said, I've used Fritz Complete. I've used Seachem Prime. I've used Fritz ACCR. And now I'm using Seachem Safe. It's, you have to use what you're able to get. I've talked about it. Yes, 
I have specific desires for specific products, but if I cannot get that product in the manner in which I need to get it time-wise, then I've got to switch. And a lot of products I'm gonna tell you are similar in what they do, so you have to find what works for you. If it's your favorite YouTuber talking about it, go for that product. If it's easier for you to get, go with that product. But if you're looking for a comprehensive water conditioner, you're going to be looking at the safe, prime, and complete from Fritz, right? Those are gonna be your comprehensive ones. Overall, I love Fritz ACCR because it's ammonia, chlorine, chloramine remover. That's it. I don't necessarily need nitrite and nitrate. However, I'm out. This was a little bit cheaper for me to snag at the time, so I did. And it does 60,000 gallons. Just trying to figure out how to measure it is ridiculous. I have went back to a buffer. This is the buffer I've used in the past. I've also used Fritz's buffer. I was unable to get that. So boom, I went to Seachem and I'm using their buffer. It is good. I need to get above eight. I talked about what my pH level is now. So I will follow the instructions. Just got this a couple of days ago to get my pH back above eight. Now remember the higher your pH, doesn't matter what trace of ammonia it is, ammonia becomes more toxic. So just be cautious about that. So I've got the, I've got a little R, why R Nolan given the little Shaka action? Fritz makes great saw and buffer. Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Uh, Cunningham Cichlids is in the house like usual. Appreciate your support, sir. Uh, we then went over Monster 360. This helps prolong those water changes, especially for me getting back to traveling here soon. And a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it'll help keep the aquarium, your filtration, the sludge buildup, all is less and less and less the longer you dose because you're building that colony. So this is gonna be your, your doo-doo eating, so to speak. You don't just eat that. It's nitrates, consuming, getting rid of, sludge breakdown. That's this type of bacteria, stable for a, for a very, very long time, sometimes eternity. And then you have the ammonia loving oxygen just thriving bacteria that that you need ammonia and you need a little bit of phosphates but that doesn't matter for most of us freshwater guys and girls but this is also good for what we talked about adding fish major water changes medicating replenishing that bacteria colony to keep our ammonia and nitrite part of the nitrogen cycle flourishing starting up an aquarium um, this is just good to have on hand this is an insurance piece you know, you, if you're spending, you know, three, $400 on, on some fish that you've been waiting a long time for, why would you just risk tossing them in and just, right? Do you use Fritzheim Trace when you add bacteria? I do not. Um, most of uh, my aquariums, they're well-established. They have everything I need. I don't need to add that, you know, trace enzyme. Um, anything to get pH down? There's a lot of stuff that gets pH down. And honestly, I'm a little concerned with trying to lower the pH that way. So what I would recommend is research how pH rises and falls in an aquarium or just in water in general, and then learn it from there, to be honest with you, because you start adding chemicals and you're trying to bounce this pH around. pH may not matter to you specifically to the fish that you're keeping. I know that my fish back here, do have a problem when we start lowering. Now, somebody asked about, you know, using trace. I don't have, a, I don't have aquariums that require tannins. I'm not putting tannins into my water. Uh, if I was, it's probably done through almond leaf. And I have almond leaves that I can throw in those aquariums, but I'm not, add, I'm not adding any, any tannins. So, uh, Jay, I use Prime and API Stress Coat every week. I do, which is 50% twice a week. I have a 220 discus. What are your views on stress coat? I don't add stress coat uh, unless I need it. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it's just, it's not something for me. If you're looking for a comprehensive water conditioner that has a uh, vitamin E with that, you know, stress sign in it, along with its ability to dechlorinate, um, I'm, I'm plugging it again, but it's Fritz Guard. Fritz Guard has all that in one. I just don't see the need to buy uh, two different products, but that's me. That, that's me and, and, and what I'm doing, right? So um, 
if I was to guess and you love Prime, then you don't need stress coat all the time. The only time you'd really want to add stress coats because your fish are going to produce stress coat naturally, right? Based on the nutrients that they're bringing in, how healthy they are. If your fish aren't as healthy, they're not going to produce stress coat, right? That's when they kind of get a little tacky feeling and then they're susceptible to the bad bacteria that is just opportunistic and waiting in that aquarium. So you want to allow that fish to naturally produce what it naturally produces. You know, we have this weird thing with humans and pets, you know, to include fish is we want, we're like, oh man, you're not getting enough iron. Let's give you some iron pills. But what can we naturally do to help build our iron, you know, output or our building of iron in our body? Instead of looking for something to supplement it, if you don't need it, look for things that naturally will help the body produce. Because if you're not aiding the body in producing it in any body, then the body is going to naturally keep up. And as long as you're paying attention to your animals in your own body, when you're not able to produce those things, then that's where supplementation can happen, right? That's where it's best. And for your body, please consult a doctor. And for your fish, if you can consult a vet, great. If not, it's completely up to you on what you do. But I think overdoing stress coat is too much. And I just don't recommend it, honestly. Um, am I the only one that uses Fluval products? No, I mean, you, like I said, you can use what you want to use. Most of these are rebottled everywhere anyways. You know, um, I don't know if Fluval is actually making their own products. I, I don't know. Um, I know Seachem does. I know Fritz does. And, you know, that's what I've used and that's what I trust. And that's what I'm going to continue to say. Um, use care with buffers example. My, my water comes out at the tap with a pH of 8.5. And after 24 hours of aerating, the pH falls. I do not dose buffer on my water change day, but 48 hours after my H2O change. So perfect. I'm going to actually post that right up here. Folks, pay attention to this. I was just talking about doing, doing the research behind this. Please, please, please do the research because if you're buffering right away, remember oxygen will change the pH level. Mm -hmm. So Craigers fish hit the nail on the head. Please wait a couple days before you add those buffers. Um, you know, and of course I've got folks wanting to help out saying, you know, hit the like button, do that whole thing. Yeah, share this video. It can help somebody. I mean, honestly, like share the video. It's ideal. It helps. I get it. And all of those great, fantastic things. Now that's four products. We went over, we got one more. Bear with me here. Cause you're going to be like, stop it. Pump Clean by CJ. Now, I wasn't using it before, and I never used any product that was similar or in the same wheelhouse. And I'm not just telling you because I work for CJ, which I do. What I'm telling you is I didn't know the power of what it could do until it was sent to me and said, we need the marketing done. We're going to do social media, et cetera, et cetera. This has become a lifesaver. And if you don't clean your equipment, you need to start. And I'm telling you that from somebody that very rarely ever, 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 ever clean their equipment. You need, you need, you need to start cleaning your equipment. But it does more than that for me. A matter of fact, I can fill up a one, I can fill up a five gallon bucket with a gallon of water, four scoops, boom. I leave a pump in there for you know 20 minutes and it's ready to be wiped off. If I have more time, I can leave it in there for more time and never have to touch it, pull it out, rinse it off and put it back in. From impellers to wave makers to whatever is moving water, you should be cleaning it. You can clean aquariums that are dried out with this stuff and you can clean household items. So it is a versatile weapon in your home for the greater good, for your filters, your canister filters, your whatever it is. I mean, Wendy just said it helped her dishwasher. You know, the landlord was not coming to check out the dishwasher. All the stuff was out, threw some, <laughs> threw some pump clean in there and it made it look brand new inside and it started working better. That is, that is the truth. That is the truth. Scouts honor the truth. 
Uh, we've used it in the garbage disposal. You can use it to clean grout. There's a lot of different uses and it's safe, which I love. And it's very safe to utilize in your aquariums. So that's five products that I just went over that I recommend keeping around, which I use. Um, so if you need these, these are the five that I use. I'm using a buffer from Seachem. I'm using safe from Seachem. Although any other dechlorinator will work. I'm using pump clean from CJ. There is no other pump clean on the market. I believe another company tried, but they gave you like four packets. It was hideously, god awfully expensive. It did not work. This I can tell you, I'm, I'm saying you can use it because I know it works. Where you can get it, that's up to you. You can check big box, you know, online. You can check um, freshwateraquarium.com. You can check uh, a bunch of places. There's a ton of things you can do um, to find this product. I just, I can't tell you where to go. We've got our Monster 360 for those nitrates and prolonging some water changes, sludge reducing, and then you've got your starting aquarium adding a bunch of fish, insurance piece in the Fritzime 7. Um, I need some trimming scissors, you know, of any good kind. Um, I like these from Fluvel because they're kind of spring loaded. <laughs> um, but that's it. Let's see, what's the right way to pronounce Seachem or Seache? Here you say it differently. So Seachem is this company right? <laughs> C-chem. C-ch oh, get into focus, is this. C-ch. C-chem makes a lot of chemicals. C-ch makes pumps, and we have collaborated together. So does anybody have any major questions? What's the right way? Got that. Pump clean. I need it. Go check it out. I, I do enjoy it. Um, I think it's like 15 bucks, 16 uses when I broke it down. It's 32 ounce and that's it. It says it reduces allergy risk, 100% biodegradable, money saving, 100% quality guarantee. It will work. It will work. How about the sun sun hoses? Yeah, you can use a CJ pump clean in those hoses to clean them right out. Actually, that'd be kind of cool to see how it works. So I greatly appreciate you taking the time for coming to check this out. Uh, can you use safe to make up a liquid mix to use like prime? Why? Just dump it into the water and you're good. What is, what is prime offering you that safe does not? ATM colony is great for Marine too. Uh, Fritz, Fritz turbo star does, uh, saltwater and freshwater, but I believe ATM colony is run from the same chemical makeup, to be honest with you. Um, Hey, my green barbs look at the bottom, just chill. It seems weird. Uh, I would start running a, a panel, so to speak, on your water chemistry. How can I get my aquarium as clear as yours? Maintenance, proper filtration, and don't overwhelm your system with food and fish. I use citric acid, two tablespoons uh, per gallon to clean with. Well, yeah, I mean, if, that's, if that works for you, Stephen, continue doing that. The HOB title filter has CJ pumps. Uh, CJ actually made it. Uh, for Seachem. It was a collaboration effort with design and moving of water. Um, yeah, uh, pump clean is safe for rubber seals too and your aquarium. So <clears throat> pump clean, you mix it with water. It's pretty simple. Go check it out here. I'll even put it here. If you're in the US, us.cj.com. Folks, I greatly appreciate you taking the time coming out, checking us out on the new time, new day which will now happen Mondays, 6 p.m. You heard it. It's here. We're going to be rocking and we're going to be doing some really fun stuff. Uh, we've got videos that will launch on Sunday. So go check out yesterday's and it'd be, it'd be greatly appreciated to just share, like the channel. Most of you aren't subscribed anyways uh, when I get notifications and it's, it's, it's insane. But do what you do because it is what you do. Don't do it because someone else said that it was cool to do. Do it because it works for you, it fits your budget, and it's practical. Don't make fish keeping unpractical for you. 
make it practical in what you do, and you will continue to love keeping aquariums like I do. This one was shorter than most. They usually go for an hour, but your boy's got an appointment to get to. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. And um, you know what's next. Holla!